Here's a picture of a histogram, and we've done last names. As you can see in interval one, we see five different rows. Axelrod, Anderson, 55, 100, and 900. Now, the highest sorted value in the interval is Axelrod. So let's just say the first name in that interval started with just A-B. Abe was its name. And it went from A-B all the way up to Axelrod. And that's like a phone book that says everything between those two names is in this interval. Secondly, we see the name Anderson. Anderson was the most popular name in interval one. There were 55 people in this interval named Anderson. There were 100 other names in this interval that were not named Anderson. And there were 900 other rows that were not named Anderson. That's all that's in an interval. The very first thing you see in every interval is the very last name in the interval. So we know that someone's name could have started with AB. That would have been the first row in the interval if it was sorted. And then it went all the way to Axelrod. So if your name was Anderson, you would fall between the AB and the Axelrod. The parsing engine knows which interval you're in based on this. Now, we can see that Anderson's the second thing. That's the most frequent value in the entire interval. If somebody said, tell me about the name Abraham, is there more than 55? I go, impossible, because there's 55 Andersons. Rose, with the most frequent value of Anderson, 55 of them, 55 Andersons are out there. We know that for sure. You run a query that says select everything where the last name is Anderson, the parsing engine goes, there's 55 of them out there. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. There were 100 other last names in this interval that were not Anderson, 900 rows that were not Anderson. 